is self-publishing. I'm sure you're all very interested, isn't it? Because you see, in self-publishing, it doesn't mean that you need to write a book for professional consumption. Like I'm a doctor, no, it doesn't mean that I'm going to write a book for medical doctors to leave. So it's also very good for people to leave legacy behind so that after many generations, your children, great grandchildren, whoever, will be able to know what we have done, how your life journey was. So it's very interesting. It, and it also may not be a book that there are a lot of words. It can be just be a photo book. And now it's so easy. You can write it in the Word, put it in the PDF format, post. And there are so many free forms where you can actually uh, subscribe to free. So you can put them and people who are interested in your topic and interested in your life journey, then you will go in, download the free copy and read as when they are free. So that's very interesting. So you need, you need not be a professional. Very good if you're retired because you have a lot of time now to write your own things, your own precious photos to be put into pages to disseminate family, first of all, and then for other people who are interested in your life. I'm sure a lot of you have done a lot of good things, right? So put it into memory. That is very important. Why a book? So personal fulfillment, we just mentioned that, that you, you can be very proud of. A wider audience, you can put into your blog, into your Facebook, because then you'll be just taking part of the book and then pasting and posting away. So it's very easy. So there are multiple media which you can employ. You have volumes of text. Like us doctors, we have volumes of text to actually dispense it. So, I mean, to the uh, younger doctors, you know, last time when I was younger, I was traveling to various towns in, in Kera to teach the younger ones. So, so if you have lots of text, you can put into one ebook, and then that book can go through in many chapters, and then you can tell a lot of things through the book, and the people can take the various chapters which they are interested in to read. You need not read all your chapters, is it? And they can read at leisure. So, once you have the PDF in your pocket, you can read anytime while you're traveling down with LRT, MRT, going to uh, KL in the train. You can read anytime, anywhere. And you can use different devices. And the devices are very special, especially EPUB, uh, Amazon, Kindle, and one. You can actually have links. You can link to the internet, link to different parts of the, the chapter, different parts that you have annotated, etc. And you can either write a book for free. You give it to your friends for free. Free just to give knowledge, help people, or for profit. Yes. So, okay, these are the three books I've written so far. The first one was actually uh, more difficult to write because it took years to write them because it's a factual book. It's about my grandfather, that it was his 100th anniversary, his birth anniversary. So, when it was written, and all that, for these kind of books, when it's factual, you need a lot of research. Of the archive and all that, uh, uh, because you have to reference. Because if you don't reference, then it's going to be uh, not taken too seriously. So it has to be factual, especially if it's very good if you have photos as well. So from there, from this book, it is also put into Wikipedia. So to put into Wikipedia, the book, the, the, whatever you read, must be accepted by the people in charge, the editors in Wikipedia. So if you have uh, something very important to write on, it will take on. So Leong Sinam, the one in Wikipedia is written by me. And of course, if they have written something wrong, because it's Wikipedia, you can actually say it's not correct, uh, reference not correct, is that, is that, you know, because they are open to the world to discover whether what you have written is correct or not. So it's very important. There's a lot of self-checking, uh, peer checking kind of thing. When you have a big idea, uh, this was to be 100 anniversary, this is actually for my patients. Because talking about physiotherapy, rehabilitation, it's very difficult. Going through the same thing again and again, you get them a book, get the book, and then they come back with questions much easier. And then they will be only interested in the areas that they want to be concerned their own health, you see. They won't be interested in other areas other people are not interested. So they will pinpoint whichever chapter they read and ask you. Now, this one is written because it is very interesting. Work ministry. So much of our time here at work, right? Sunday, only, you know, other cell group meetings, like church, and everything. so other times. So it's written for evangelistic in the sense that it, it generates interest. 
And this interest is together with archaeology. Archaeology. And the interest is actually together with a partner in the US, APN Media, which has allowed me to use the links from YouTube video. So those videos are very, very actual, very good. We have done very deep research, make those videos for public consumption and is evangelistic and also archaeology. So when people go through this book, I will give extra facts about the certain places, and then there are links to his video. Were very interesting. So how how do you decide the book? So if I have a free believer in my clinic, I say you're interested, scan this photo. There's a QR code in my clinic desk. At the desk, there's a QR code. So there's one way of getting the uh, the message across using QR codes. Huh? Like, so this one way you can do evangelism. And this book, once it's written, you just pass the link. You just pass the link to anyone who is interested. And this link is PDF is stored in the Google Drive and it's open to whoever has the link. So you can use that. Lots of research has to be done. Of course, you don't simply write book unless it's your family. You will know everything with the tips of the finger, right? Other things you need to search. Facts from various sources, like using MSN, Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever. Do web searches. And of course, now with artificial intelligence, a lot much, much, much easier for you to write anything. Cooking, gardening, butterfly interest, stem interest, insect interest, anything you want about that you are passionate about is your hobby. You write. And also when you write, like I'm trying to read about how to plant fix, fix let's say like fix so small, you know, how to make it bigger and grow faster, you know, produce more. Okay? So I go and read. As I read, I capture one of these days, I'm going to post in my web blog. Okay? So this is how you do when you learn, you capture, it becomes so easy, copy and paste. Mark. With artificial intelligence, you can even summarize what you have copied, put into word, ask GPT to summarize it as easy as that. So you need not go through your mind boggling thing, you know, how to write this sentence, how to create this sentence, and then through reading and all these things, no more. Now using AI. The manuscript. Now, initially when I was dealing with my first book, uh, so it's time consuming and learning the styles. Uh. Of course, if I had been publishing in the medical journals, that would be easier. But then it's scientific publishing, all right? But this kind of publishing is quite different. different uh, so you can use various types of styles. Uh, and you use word. You use word because word will allow you to use, to just allow you to choose the style you want to use finally, because you just have to fill in the blank in the form, eh, word for the blank, right? Which volume? Who printed it? Who is the author? You know, there was a name. So all this is in the form. Okay, so if you want this style, this style comes up. And you just put it into your index or your reference. Referencing. It's as simple as that. Because if you write ebooks, you are allowed to have internal or external links. Just like the book that I've written for evangelistic book, external links and internal links. Ebooks can do that. Printed books can't do that. Right? So after that, you need to uh, revise your manuscript, edit your manuscript, read it fully properly, uh, maybe get a uh, GPT to do it for you. See the feedback if you have good friends of the same interest, your family, make sure you allow you when you think about your family, make sure your other family member says it's okay. <laughs> no problem, okay. Make sure, right? Here with you. So if it's gonna be a picture book or family book, you know, it's gonna be big cover because who is gonna read? Uh, somebody of the same age, huh? I cannot be small print, right? <laughs> so have you big photos, big words, huh? So big, you know, everything big. You, you choose the book for so people who are younger, you know, fiction, right? Smaller, like right? well, paper bags, you can see uh, some of these. Then your cover, cover has to be attractive. Uh. Also, you can ask, you can do your, your cover with Canva, or you ask somebody to professional and pay them. Uh, pay, right? The page title, the forward, okay, you've written something about your family or something, insects, 
So targeting, you must get somebody, you know, or uh, knowledgeable or prominent person to write so that you give credibility to your what you've done. So people will write, uh, read, you know. So uh, Leung Sinam, I've got Tan Sri Hugh Sitong to write a forward. Uh, acknowledgement. Thank whoever supported you in your project. Family, usually, uh, and other stuff, uh, other people who share knowledge with you. Make. Table of contents. So once you've written everything, then you just have to uh, get the uh, contents ready by using Word. Word will organize the contents for you, and even the indexing. Contents and indexing all can be done by automatically. And then references, uh, you must activate additional text appendix, all right? Congress, okay, so very interesting. Video, YouTube videos, uh, by this Asian media, I was very impressed. I know I learned a lot from their videos. So I thought, why not? If I can get all of their videos and write a book with them, you know, fantastic, isn't it? So ask permission, you must have permission. You must, must have permission, all right? They say, YouTube video links, uh, so you can link your book. And this will shorten the time of publication because they already have a lot of text for you to research on. And then you follow through with your facts, okay? Because you have so many things that you can talk about. Because what they talked about, you know, you can research a bit and then add on, you know, add on, add on, add on. Then it becomes something formidable. So some publishing either ebook or a printed book. And then you need to get an ISBN, huh? International Standard Book Number, all right? So I'm, my clinic is actually registered uh, with the uh, Propuska Nagara. So to me, but we actually no need to do that, but because at that time when we started, we said, I thought, why not? Let's try and see what happens, see. So they actually gave us the registration number, you know? So we, I have an ISP number. So you can, call, uh, so we still remember whatever you put there, like pictures especially, you know, make sure you have permission because most are copyrighted. Just like in YouTube, when I post a YouTube video, I just borrow some of the music from an old Cantonese uh, music album. Uh, YouTube to protect it, you know. <laughs> so, of course, you didn't manage. They say, you know, you have a lot of copyright permission required. All these kind of things, so they know, you know, so fast, you know. You just put it up, they you know, tell you it's copyrighted. So, online platform with different formats, okay, you can either, PDF is the simplest. Simplest, you can write your book today, whatever you have in your house today, you can actually put into the web you know, for people to read as a book. EPUB, which is common, uh, common use, and EMOBI. Yeah. So, promotional events. Now, of course, if you are going to sell your book, not pressure, because you put a lot of money in your book to print it and whatnot. Nah. So, you need to promote your book to sell. Okay? So, it could be like events. You know? So, we are in this place, we have actually several book launches. Right? Ian Anderson, his book on, uh, uh, and then uh, Professor Lit, the one, the book is written in Kampa. But, so, you know, the promotional, of course, and then you can use your blog. Uh, how many of you have a blog? So I find blogs very interesting because blogs, you can post and it is searchable. Searchable. Not like you, uh, Facebook, you know, if Facebook, Instagram, of course, it's still searchable, but you can find so many different things. But blog, like mine, I'm using Blogger. Blogger belongs to Google. And Google has priority for its own stuff. So when they search, your things will come up faster because it belongs to Google. Good to have your own website. Now you can use your own website. Right? Get your own uh, website as well to check uh, so that you can sell your product. So my website, I'm also putting some of the things. If you go to my website, leong.my, you can see some of the things that we put there. Okay, social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. You can use all these to market your book. Distribution. If you have a printed book, obviously, you need to get a distributor, you know, like popular bookstore, other bookstores. They probably, most of the time, they won't pay you. You just put the book there, it sells, they give you whatever is left. You know, maybe take something and then uh, that's why it's not easy to sell a book. But if it is for free or in ebook, you can have various platforms. So some people write very good books and then they sell very well. So you can have posters and QR code to link. Uh, 
you know, to tell people, you know, you, you have say your my feeling, I have poster you know, for evangelistic part. You can put it into the top storage and people can just download. You just send a link because now there's a lot of web, what that group, but huh? the lead to the career because you want to go back to the old times of Jesus' time. That's where the land is known as. So this is the QR code. You can just send, scan and see what you can get now on my clinic table top for people to get it. We only can do what we can tell people but the Holy Spirit is actually finally the person who's actually going to convict a person, right? Huh? So that's, that's it. Any any questions you want to ask? Yeah. 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 Y